Hi viewers, it's Ket. I would like to welcome you to my fossil obtaining guide through Sulisep Mushroom Chopping on Fossil Island. I'm here to bring you this guide because I want to give you an efficient outlook towards obtaining these fossils. Whether you are an obby like myself, or a low level skiller, or just a low level account in general, um, you'll be needing to know a few of these things uh, listed in this video. I will tell you exactly what you need to do um, once you've started or once you've finished uh, Bone Voyage quests, which requires a uh, dig site and 100 Varrock Museum kudos. So right after you've completed the quest, you're going to want to clean finds in the Varrock Museum until you discover a ruby necklace, and which is going to be one of the finds. Um, and then once you've obtained this through the finds, you're going to uh, talk to the archaeologist that's there, one of the one of the guys in the room, and they'll actually take it from you, but you'll be able to unlock the ability to enchant um, ruby necklaces. From there, you're going to want to um, obtain a ruby necklace, um, possibly through the Grand Exchange, and a uh, enchant ruby scroll if you do not have the 45 or the 49 magic requirement to enchant them. Um, in this case, um, I do, but I just want to show you the uh, the tab. For instance, you're going to want to buy these items and then use them on each other. And as you can see, you will not gain magic experience at all um, whilst using the tab. But you'll be able to create the dig site pendant, which is the quickest way to Fossil Island. And upon rubbing it, um, you will see two options for me. However, the Fossil Island teleport will not be unlocked initially for you. So the dig site one is the only one that you'll have access to. So whenever you do that, just go to the dig site teleport and collect uh, quick travel here from the barge guard. And that'll take you to the center of the camp. From here, you're going to want to unlock that uh, fossil island teleport. So you'll take your character uh, west up these hills here. And I'll show you exactly where you need to go. And make sure to bring your dig site pendant with you. You're gonna want to go up this ladder here and make sure all is well. It's a little bit of a far travel, and then from here you can just go north over another big bridge, and you'll see you're gonna come up on this huge house here take the west path and go up the stairs and this is the house on the hill in quotations <clears throat> you're going to use your dig site pendant on this strange machine to be able to unlock the uh, fossil island teleport so then you'll be able to teleport right where i'm standing basically okay from here you're going to want to tag this uh, magic mush tree and this is the uh, teleportation system um, of Fossil Island exclusively and there are four different teleport options that you'll be able to unlock uh, The more important ones for this guide however is the house on the hill which you obtain by tagging this mushroom and then the sticky swamp Now I've unlocked all of them But the sticky swamp will be grayed out for you unless you've unlocked it already and I'm going to show you how to do that right quick so you'll want to go back to your dig site teleport here and we're gonna wanna make it to the center of camp again. And before we go into the swamp, I just wanna give you a quick lowdown of what to expect. So the reason why I'm decked out in this gear is I wanted to max out my um, magic defense. And this is all gear that uh, one defense players can obtain pretty easily. This is the, uh, the halo you get from Castle Wars, Fury, Wizard, uh, your best chaps, this could be green, red, whatever. Um, Holy Book, this gives defense bonuses. So that's what I use. Uh, regen is the MVP because it allows you to uh, gain health over time uh, twice as fast. Um, Wizard Boots and the Brimstone Ring actually has defense bonuses. So I use that in that slot. Okay, and in the uh, Swamp... You're going to run into uh, tar monsters, which will max you an 8 or a 9, I believe. And you'll also run into these spine mushrooms here. If you get close to one, they'll have a chance to poke you for 10 damage and poison you. And so that's why I bring these uh, Antidote++. Plus Plus. These are actually cheaper than Super Anti-Potions, uh, so I would definitely stock up on a bunch of these. 
And the reason I choose Ceradamin Brews is that you can brew above your health. So this is very important for low level obbies or low level scalers that want to uh, navigate through the swamp uh, efficiently. And you'll also notice that they have four doses and they each heal quite a bit. Uh, I think for me, it heals eight or nine. And the health that you gain is um, dependent on your base HP stat. So the higher HP you have, the more you'll gain from a, a dose of brew. Um, this is just necessary because I want to be able to fill my fill my inventory with um, mushrooms and fossils and be able to AFK more. Because if you have a clumped up inventory with a bunch of like sharks or whatever you're going to use, um, you won't be able to AFK for so long and you won't be able to last in the swamp um, very long at all and you'll make frequent bank runs, which is not what I was trying to do. I was trying to stay here as long as I can. Now, banking and returning to here is very, very simple. Um, but this is this is basically um, where you want to go because we are um, unlocking the sticky swamp mushroom teleportation method. So from here, um, you'll want to venture through the swamp. And this is kind of where some of these mushrooms actually appear, but these won't appear just yet as the uh, the mushrooms are generated on a, uh, a on a sequence so you're going to want to chop down them all in order and then they they repeat so this is actually the last mushroom and this is the penultimate one all right and so we're going to get through the center of the swamp to find the first mushroom that you will be starting at so there's a lot of uh, vines and um, other objects in here that you'll need to chop and rake you're gonna need an axe and a rake for sure to navigate through this efficiently just follow my pathing and we'll get you to the center here um, so here's the only vines that you'll want to rake in the path and then we'll go through these vines as well followed by another and continue just basically going south until you hit that vine and then you go east and you all have uh, officially made it to the beginning this is where uh you will be able to tag the mushroom tree and gosh darn it this mush this tar monster okay so now we're out of its path you're gonna want to tag this mushroom tree and then now your sticky swamp teleportation will be available so You'll be basically just um, teleporting here with the dig site pendant, and then you'll just be running straight north, um, and then using the sticky swamp teleportation method to get all the way there with ease. So this is where you're gonna start. And this is the first mushroom that you're gonna come up on. This is the only mushroom that's gonna be available until you, drop, until you chop it down. Um, so obtaining a fossil is, I believe, a 5 in 150 chance. And then um, once you hit that drop rate, um, smalls are obtained very easily. And then mediums have a less chance. Larges have a way less chance. And then you have a, I believe, 5% chance of obtaining a rare fossil. But if you get these rare fossils, you can trade these in for Nimalite, which is the currency on Fossil Island. And it doesn't sell for too much. And um, also you could um, trade in the rare fossils for prayer XP, but if you're an obby mauler like me, that generally won't be the case. And see here, I've obtained a medium fossil by uh, um, RNG there. Um, and then you'll see this, uh, this pit full of mushrooms here. I have it uh, loaded already, but what you'll need to do is um, as soon as you chop down like nine mushrooms exactly, You'll be able to just use them on the pit and this will become useful in a little bit and I'll show you why that becomes relevant. So as soon as you chop this mushroom down, it'll actually um, spawn in the next mushroom location and I will take you to that path. I will show you an efficient path here um, of how to get to each and every one of them. So you're going to go south and chop the vine again and then from here you're going to take the south path and continue and it's going to appear right here and as soon as you finish chopping this one down you're gonna to want to make it out and you can see the uh, spine mushroom got me there which is why we bring the anti-poisons uh, chop the vine here 
and then chop the next vine followed by another one and you're gonna want to take the east path And uh, typically, I don't bring staminas on my um, on my Soliusep runs, basically because I don't need them, as there's a lot of time in between when you're cutting the trees and when you're moving around. Um, so I really don't need them, but for the purpose of the guide, I brought one along with me just in case I ran out of run. So after that one's complete, you'll want to go down and around again, and then you'll need to clear these vines here. These are the only vines that you'll need to clear. And then you're gonna take the west path here. And then one will be right here. After this one's chopped, you're gonna wanna go north and clear the vines. Then clear these vines. And continue on the north path here and finish these last vines off. And you'll get to basically where we entered the swamp initially. You'll see two spots here. You'll see a, a mushroom here, which is gonna be your, your fourth. And then the fifth is right there. I believe I counted right. Um, and then once you've chopped this mushroom down here, you're gonna either bank or teleport with your dig site pendant back to um, the fossil island teleport. Or you can use this spring mushroom here. And if you have that little pit loaded with mushrooms, you will take zero damage for the, uh, for the fall. But if you do not have the mushrooms here, and, and they go away every time, um, if you don't have the mushrooms there, you will take approximately 40 to 60 damage just landing right there. So you need to have that loaded. And we are back to the beginning. Okay, and then once you've obtained uh, fossils, I will show you what to do with them. It's pretty simple because you're going to want to fill them... Um, in the Varrock Museum display cases for the 120k XP. Um, you're going to want to return to the dig site. Stamina up here a little bit. All right, and here you can construct uh, some of the camp if you already haven't done so. And you'll need to build these items as well if you haven't done so. And you just store the the fossils here so I'm going to show you what you need to do to clean them take your fossils from your inventory take a cleaning kit from the crate here put your uh, gloves and boots on and then use the fossils on the bench and it should um, automatically clean all of them in your inventory but it, it'll take a little bit and then you're just going to want to complete a set so like one two three four five you're going to want f um, one piece of each to complete the display cases and I'll show you how to do that. So we're gonna go to Varrock using my handy dandy construction kit. This is the portal nexus. We're gonna go to Varrock here and we're going to go to the museum. And the display cases for the Fossil Island fossils are actually below the natural history quiz guy so it's down these stairs and then there's now stairs behind it to take you to the bottom level here. And so that same storage bin is here. You'll be able to access all your fossils. So you could bank them on Fossil Island and clean them. And then once you're here, you just take a set of um, one of these. So like a, one, two, three, four, and five. Um, there's display cases all around you and all of mine are completed, but yours will be empty. And you'll just take one of each set and just click the um, display case five times and then boom, you'll magically have a XP lamp in your inventory, which you'll be able to use to redeem. And once you finish all the display cases, you'll gain some kudos and you'll gain a total of 120,000 experience, which you can disperse in any, um, any of your skills here. And now we've basically reached the end of this video. Um, so I just want to give a quick shout out to Abby Elite CC. This has been my um, been my home for a while. Um, nice close knit family here. If you're an Abby or interested in an Abby, or um, or just want to chill and say hi, um, our CC is always open. So join that if you can, and like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more guides and uh, videos like this one. Thanks, guys. Peace.